It's hard to believe that it's been eight years since the release of Kerbal Space Program, and in some ways it's even harder to believe that in 2011, KSP launched into a gaming world that had virtually zero space games on the market. They just announced Kerbal Space Program 2 then, set to launch in 2020, is in a very different position indeed. Firstly, KSP and its ubiquitous Kerbal characters have worldwide cultural recognition. And secondly, space games have made a resurgence into the gaming world with a good number of titles already on the market and even more due to arrive over the next year or two. Now, the original title captured the imagination of gamers all over the world with its hardcore focus on science, specifically physics, yet it managed to propel these topics into a fun, captivating game, along with some trademark humour to boot. Kerbal Space Program 2 then is expanding upon this premise significantly, with deep space exploration, interstellar travel, next generation technology, and even planetary colonisation. It looks like the new game has already had some significant development time under its belt, although it's worth pointing out that the sequel is being made by a completely different studio to the original. This studio is Star Theory Games, formerly known as Uber Entertainment, who you may know from their work on Planetary Annihilation, amongst other titles. The original studio, meanwhile, Squad, appear to have some involvement, and they're assisting Star Theory with some areas of the game. Squad are also continuing work on the original Kerbal Space Program. Now, Kerbal Space 2 will retain a strong scientific focus, and it appears that the title is certainly in good hands. The principal designer of the game has a background in aerospace industry, and they also have been consulting with scientists, specifically Dr. Joel Green of the James Webb Space Telescope. When the game launches next year, it will release on PC via Steam. Xbox and PlayStation 4 versions are set to arrive a little later on, affording the developers time to refine the game for console platforms, whilst allowing them to focus on making KSP2 a PC title. So the trailer for the game, which you can see running in the background here, is, in a single word, stunning. Whilst it's a cinematic trailer and doesn't show any actual gameplay, and I've got to say this scene here reminds me of that video, Wanderers. But whilst it doesn't actually show gameplay here, many of the assets shown in the trailer appear to be from the game, with a good number of them being modules found in the original. And this is perhaps one of the key areas where KSP2 will differentiate itself from the original. Whilst Kerbal Space Program essentially focused on existing technology, both from the dawn of space travel right up to the modern age, the sequel will take a step into the not-too-distant future, therefore allowing players to use next-generation technology. And this will allow players to get far deeper into space than previously. But not only that, it will also allow for colonisation onto stellar bodies. And these colonies will, over time, develop new technologies. And the colonies themselves will be built through resource gathering. In fact, it appears resource gathering may be an important aspect of the game. And to me at least, all of this kind of implies that KSP2 will have an element of open world and persistence to it. Of course, that may be me just reading into things as the developers haven't specifically said any of that, but with the idea of resource gathering and base building to gather and improve over time, it seems it could highly be likely. Now once these colonies reach a certain level of development, they will be able to act as launching platforms to propel craft ever deeper into space. And obviously, this means that ships in KSB2 will be able to travel significantly faster than those in the original game, and this really does make sense, as interstellar travel and getting to other solar systems requires either significant time or high speed, but preferably uh, speed rather than too much time. Unless they want to be old age Kerbals by the time they get there, or unless, I guess, they've got some form of cryogenic sleep technology. Anyway, this will allow players to leave the current star system and truly travel to distant worlds. As for the game world itself, the announcement trailer shows us some truly amazing environments, such as ringed planets and some gorgeous gas giants. And in the recently released developer story video, the developers casually raise the question of the scientific possibilities of completely stripping gas giants of all resources, they mention the formation structures of young star systems or how close planetary bodies could actually orbit. How, or even if, these questions actually extend into forms of gameplay is a very intriguing concept. Kerbal Space Program 2 will also feature multiplayer, as well as extensive modding support. And with regards to modding, the forum FAQ states, An all-new architecture underlies Kerbal Space Program 2, 
enabling increased moddability, which kind of suggests that the new game will be even more moddable than the first. Multiplayer, meanwhile, sounds interesting, and I'm very curious to see how this will actually work. So that pretty much covers all the details we currently have, and if you do want to see the announcement trailer, that's linked below, as is the developer story video, which I highly recommend that you go and watch. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.